This video shows how to calculate beta and the Sharpe ratio for Broadcom stock over, the, over a 10 year period. To get started, we read in the price histories of Broadcom and the S&P 500 index. To see the data we've read from Yahoo Finance, we examine the two oldest records, which are from April 1998. We can also display the three most recent records. Next, we isolate the closing prices for the stock and the index into a variable with two columns and look at the six oldest daily records. From this you can see we've only kept the closing prices from the original data we read in. Next for our analysis we need to convert from prices to daily returns. And next we can display the three oldest daily returns. To check our calculations, we can compare the prices with the returns. We first take the first two prices from Broadcom from the prices variable and divide the April 20 price by the April 17 price and subtract one. You notice that the numbers match what's in the returns. Next we calculate the beta for Broadcom using the LM function. Note we also specify the calculations are only done for the 10 year period starting August 20, 2002. We also can calculate the number without the y-intercept which we have just done. To get more detail about the regression we save the output of the regression to a variable and then use the summary and ANOVA commands. The summary command tells us what the shows how significant the regression is and the ANOVA command gives us the overview which also shows a high level of significance. Both show at a point less than 2e minus 16. Next we calculate the Sharpe ratio. We first calculate the mean and standard deviation of the Broadcom returns. Note the return variables are two columns, so we specified only what we want to do the calculations on, not on both columns. And here's what the original data looked like. We can then use a calculator to calculate the Sharpe ratio from the mean and standard deviation, but I'll show you how to compute and display the values. We first create two variables and then we do the calculations. We can also make it pretty by using the cat command with the name followed by the, the slash n inside of double quotes. And here we have a pretty display. And that's the basic methods for calculating beta.